Hi, I'm Pete. And I'm Nat. And this is the Hire Yourself Podcast. Each day we will publish a short episode on franchising and owning a business. These small bits of information will help you be a better entrepreneur and business person. Between us, we have 75 years of experience and have owned and ran nine businesses and counting. Hi, I'm Sean, and if you've been listening to the previous episodes, you know I am the producer of the Hire Yourself podcast. You're hearing from me because these first episodes all feature me asking Nat and Pete a question about franchising, because I know essentially nothing. And today's question is, how would I know when it's time to cut my losses and give up my franchise and close my business? The question is basically, I'm, I've been doing this for nine, nine months, three years, 10 years. And, and how do I know when it's time to exit? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that that's going to be different for different people. Um, for me, I sold mine because I felt like I had achieved a high level of success, but I also felt like I kind of had hit a plateau. So I felt like, you know, I'm, I remember that, you know, I really remember the exact day. I just, I looked around and I'm like, I think I've learned everything I possibly can here. Um, and I'm like, I don't want to just be on this hamster wheel, you know, for the next 20 years. So I decided to kind of, you know, get all my, my ducks in a row and clean up the P&L and sell the business. And that's the great thing about a franchise. I mean, I think the number one thing is to get it to profitability. And once you have it to profitability, you always have a saleable asset. Um, so I think if somebody's not enjoying it or if they feel like they hit a plateau or, you know, maybe they need to relocate. Um, if they're, you know, I guess if they're not making money or they feel like they're epically failing, then I think it's probably time to reach out to the parent company or the franchisor and ask for help. If it's not making money, you know, it's not going to be a, you're not going to have a saleable asset. I think the number one priority is you have to do what it takes for a defined period of time in order to have a saleable asset. Otherwise you're going to be, you know, flushing that investment down the toilet. I mean, one of the things when you think about it is, is it going to be a good fit? And how do you know if it is a good fit once you invest in it? it you got to get in there and you got to work hard and you got to follow the systems. And as you get into it and it, you're doing stuff that uh, it's hard work, there's no question. So uh, hard work is part of the deal. You're going to have to follow a system. But if you're doing things and you just don't enjoy it. So for example, you invest in a franchise where there's a lot of outgoing business development where you have to go stand up and you have to go uh, to customers' homes and stuff like that. And you realize that you're doing that. I knew, knew a guy that owned a uh, painting franchise, right? So invest in this painting franchise and really liked the business. It was a service-based business. You could grow it. You know, there's no kind of cap on how big you could grow it. But he didn't like going to people's houses and doing estimates, right? Just wasn't his deal. So ultimately ended up selling the business. And so what you have is a sellable asset. So if you get into it and it's not the, the right thing for you, you always go back to the parent company, tell them, hey, listen, it's maybe not a good fit. They can help you try to find somebody to take it over or to sell it to from a standpoint. But you got to give it your all and you got to work really hard, follow the system and kind of evaluate it. And if it isn't a good fit, then you got to make the decision and cut it and, and, and go. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this or any of our episodes, please subscribe to the podcast. And it would be absolutely amazing if you give us a rating and review. We hope you listen to us again tomorrow.